Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. Um, today we're episode number 926 and the topic today is about the holidays and in particular for those people who find the holidays may not be as merry as they should be in quotes. And I'll explain some things and also give you an invitation to something special I'm hatching, <laughs> for want of a better word, in a moment. Um, before I jump into all of that, let me choose myself and explain why I do these talks and what we're about today so maybe you'll get some value from this. I hope you will. My name is Barry Selby. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, and author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. I'm also a relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. Um, that's because I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs my work, and also what inspired these talks just over three years ago now, called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So to fast forward from three years ago, three years ago to today, we're episode number 926. I actually was funnily looking through some of my very early f Facebook Lives and the caption I was putting in there is about um, like a series of talks or something like that. I was realizing how naive I was back at the beginning that I'd be doing these for three straight years and doing 900 plus broadcasts. You never know what you're gonna do. You know, and I'm, that may come up in the topic, we'll see what happens. Um, and so the topic today again is, the holidays may be merry, but what happens, what happens when they're not? And I'm speaking particularly to those, those of you who are seeing beyond the holidays. You may be looking at the end of the year in 2020 being like, oh, damn, another year. What was going to happen this year and how things didn't work out last year and all sort of stuff. And I'm going through a certain stuff myself because I'm watching what happened to the election in England uh, this past week. And I'm still coming to terms with that. I'm not going to get into that. But basically, when we're in the... <laughs> what's this saying about me? May you be... Um, What's the, what's the term? Something like, may you be blessed? No. Something about may, may you be wise enough to live in an interesting times. Something like that. A, I'm, I'm messing up the phrase, but that's the thing I'm thinking about. It's like we're living in interesting times right now. Anyway, that's a sidebar. Let me go back to the topic at hand. So for a lot of people, the holidays are already time for festivities and everything else. But sometimes it can be a challenge because maybe your, your family isn't around. Or maybe, because I was talking to a friend, a friend of mine about this today, um, you've lost a loved one. And this is a time of grief, not a time of celebration. There are other instances too where the holidays can be a challenging time just because maybe you don't have people to be around for holidays and you're feeling kind of left out or, or maybe on a deadline you're working too hard and there's no time for it. There's all sorts of reasons why the holidays can be a challenging time for people. So I'm gonna offer you some solutions, some ideas and an invitation as I mentioned. So first of all, if you're dealing with the, the loss of a loved one and I've, I've some friends of mine recently, several friends of mine actually, it's quite a few now actually, have lost a loved one over the recent months as a close relative, which meant the holidays would be poignant because they're not here anymore. Um, I went through that in 2012 when my mother passed away. That was in that was in October, so it was right it was before the holidays hit. But I was definitely feeling that missing piece. So I understand what it feels like. And the thing I want to say about this journey of grief, because that's what it's really about, is it's something you don't want to ignore. If you have lost a loved one whether it's even whether it's a person or an animal because a few people lost their pets recently too grief is something that sometimes people go right i'll get up it onto later i'll push it off i don't need to deal with it now i'm too busy or something else don't if you are feeling upset over the loss of your loved one again person animal whatever that is putting off prolonging suppressing ignoring diverting away from the grief is a mistake in approach an error in approach it's not good for your health. Grief is a necessary part of the releasing because in a lot of ways, grief is something that we are um, required to do, to do to remember that we love somebody or something we lost. So, and there's many books about grief. I forgot a few I can recommend if you're interested in that and some you're dealing with, so you can message me and I'll tell you the books I recommend. Um, but also I've, had to, I've, I've been involved in that as well with clients in my spiritual practice to hold the space for them when they're grieving because I know it's part of the journey. Grief is part of the human experience. So don't ignore, suppress, or eliminate it. It's something you have to deal with. So that's one thing. Second part is, if you're in a place where you don't feel like you have people to be around to celebrate with, because this is another thing that comes up for people, I recommend you highly look for other orphans. And I'm using that term loosely. I've been, I, did, I did Thanksgiving with orphans, so to speak. People weren't going home for Thanksgiving and being around family. Christmas can be the same thing. And if you're somebody who's basically feeling like you can't be celebrating because your family isn't close, stop it, <laughs> in simple terms. 
you've got to, I'm, I'm doing this now because this is, a, this is still what 10 days away from Christmas um, 11 days away from Christmas just checking the date so you can definitely do something about this now you don't have to wait till as well, I'm doing it now not the day before <clears throat> there are people you know I'm sure you have friends connections set up even well even co-workers perhaps who are also without Christmas family to be with there are things you can do to celebrate Christmas now I've spent Christmas alone more than one time and I've learned that frankly my own company is something I've become accustomed to and comfortable with and that's something I teach in my coaching by the way is how to have a healthy relationship with yourself because it's the one you go through the whole life with Christmas is one of those challenging times where you think like everyone else is celebrating you're the only one not well let me just tell you something because <laughs> I've done the I've done the Juvie's Christmas with friends before and the Juvie's Christmas you know is movies and Chinese food traditionally although we did Ch we did Chinese foods and burgers because that was what we planned on doing but because the Jews technically don't celebrate Christmas that's not necessarily true because Christmas is no longer a religious holiday Christmas is now a um, retail holiday <laughs> shall we say in which case the Jews are all in on that but in terms of the, the, the essence of Christmas for a lot of people who don't celebrate traditionally that way there are things you can do and I know when I one time when I was doing Christmas I went to the movies and went and had some food there are a lot of other people out there who are also alone so I'm saying to say in a way, don't get, don't feel too sorry for yourself. I mean, you may want to, but don't, don't um, wallow in it. There are things you can do in the world, because on Christmas Day, Chinese Chinese restaurants are definitely open, and so are theaters. So you can definitely go do some things to entertain yourself and enjoy being around the public on Christmas. So there's, that's one thing that we deal with. If you're in a place where you think you're too busy for Christmas, this is the third thing I'm talking about. So grief, loneliness busyness these are all part of the journey by the way if you're dealing with the holidays as a challenge because you've got too much on your plate too many things to do I would suggest that you might perhaps be a little bit too um, distracted from your heart a lot of things we do in our life we put in our head to get things done to make things happen and I'm really getting passionate about people really owning their heart space and speaking from it living from it and remembering it when they forget and if you're in a place where your life is so crazy that you've got no time for the loving things in life and your heart centered things in your life because maybe you're single and you don't want to spend the time to think about your heart because you're just going to put that away and just focus on your work, don't. <laughs> I seem to saying don't and stop it a lot in this broadcast, but it seems to be coming up because I want to say this. Particularly around the holidays, it's a good time to spend time being in a loving space. Again, you may be single, you may be alone, but taking the time to be nurturing with yourself, to be caring about yourself, is something I highly recommend you invest time in. I know the thought goes through people's minds, maybe yours, maybe other people's, certainly other people's, where the idea of being alone <clears throat> is no time to feel sentimental, no time to be, to be joyful, no time to be happy. I disagree. I'm adamant about this, is that you can be totally happy, joyful, and enjoying yourself when you're alone. So if you're at Christmas, and you're really busy taking time out to spend time with yourself, to enjoy yourself, to celebrate yourself. Yes, celebrate yourself is a wise choice. So that's three things that play with this. So give me some ideas. Something I've been very aware of recently is that for a lot of people, the holidays are a ritualistic experience. And Thanksgiving more than Christmas, but they're both in the same boat. And so there's a certain um, duty that seems to lay on people's heads when it comes to the holidays too. And my intention in this nudge in this video is to recommend that you look at things differently this year whether you're single, alone whether you're single because they're not the same thing that's a whole other topic um, whether you're basically too busy or whether you're just in family it's not really functioning the way you want the traditions that are in there they can be valuable but also if they don't work it's okay if they're not so this is just a quick little like slice of possibilities for, th for the holidays coming up you got 15 days ahead excuse me 16 no, 11, I can't keep track. 11 days ahead to plan for the holidays. So I'm advising you, recommending to you, encouraging you to make the holidays worthwhile for you. And that may mean you saying no to certain things, social engagements, family dynamics, working too much, whatever that is, so you can actually spend time with yourself because you deserve to celebrate yourself this holiday season. I've been putting some things together, which I'm going to, I'm going to get a little plug now because I'm going to talk about it later, but I will put in the comments some things that I recommend you check out, one of which is my self-love meditation. I keep recommending and talking about it for the simple reason that if you're going through the holidays, feeling stressed out, worried, overworked, lonely, not feeling good, whatever that is, 
it's time you apply your love to yourself. Celebrate yourself by loving yourself in the moment, in the present, as a lifestyle change that will support you get from here on out. Speaking of from here on out, a little plug on something else I'm talking about, so I'm just letting you know some things I'm, I'm brewing. I did a little plug yesterday that I'm still developing. It wasn't very well marketed, but I'm launching something that I'm gonna sign people up for now. It's a, it's a three-month coaching invitation called BFF, and it's not what you think it is. <laughs> BFF stands for business, for, excuse me, for, for balance, freedom, and flow. And it's for those people who are high-achieving, high high-performing people who are feeling stressed out and not feeling filled up with what's going on in life. Um, I'll be marketing more about that recently. If you want to find, I'll be marketing about more, try in English. I'll be marketing more about that in the days to come. Um, if you want to find out more about it and, and how I can help you, because this is particularly for the ladies who are gung-ho, getting things done, make things happen, and you're running towards the end of the year with this deadline in sight because the, the end of the year is less than a month away and you're feeling like, oh crap, there's a new year starting, I'm not sure what to do. It may be time to stop and take a breath. I've got something to invite you to do more than that to transform your experience. So. BFF is the new thing I'm putting together. It'll be launching, actually it's actually kind of soft launch now, but it'll be more officially launched with it towards the end of the year. If you want to find out more about that, I do recommend you check it out. If you're a spun, somebody who's really finding yourself being um, overly exerting in life, overly making things happen and not getting what you want, especially when you find yourself stuck up here, not down here, you know who you are. Time to reach out to me and I can help you with that. Um, I'll put a link in the comments for a contact form so you can just fill it out and send a note to me to, to ask me for help, excuse me, ask me for more information so I can then help you. Let me be honest about that. Um, and that's about it. And that's really what I'm talking about today. I'm feeling this is kind of a shorter broadcast because I wanted to just like give you a quick nudge and shift and a push to say, look, the holidays can be challenging. Don't let them override your freedom. Don't let them override your flow. Don't let them, o don't let them override your balance. That's the BFF backwards, by the way and learn how to be gentle with yourself and loving with yourself during the holiday season. It's a good time to focus on self-care because you deserve it. And I'm here to help remind you. Um, so again, links will be in the comments to check out. This is my daily Facebook Live that I do every, every day of the week, seven days a week. This is a Saturday broadcast, hence the casual attire. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. And that's 5 p.m. Pacific time, I think I said that. If you haven't seen my broadcast, the replays are on my business page on Facebook and on my YouTube channel. My business page is, um, how can I say it? Facebook is not really good at saving all the data where you want to see it. It's really kind of annoying that way. It's one of their flaws, one of their, one of their only flaws, of course. Um, but you can go to my business page and check out those. If you want to like my page, which is Barry Selby to author, you can watch the broadcast there. However, all of my broadcasts are on my YouTube channel, which I much more highly recommend. That was English, yeah, to make sure it was grammatically correct. Um, if you go to Barry, so sorry, go to youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can subscribe to my channel, and on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. That contains every single one of my broadcasts, from newest to oldest, you can search through by keyword, looking for things you want to find out. There's talks on the whole gamut of relationships, self-support, self-love, feminine, masculine, polarity, relationships, all that sort of stuff. I said relationships twice. It's in there a lot. So if you want some help, don't sit still. If you want some help, make a move, reach out, get support. Again, the link will be a comment in the comment in the comments. Excuse me, in the comments will be the link. I did say it the right way around for my self love meditation and also for my BFF invitation. I'll write more descriptive comments in this. You know what I'm talking about. Check out the comments. If it speaks to you, sign up. Um, with that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, at same time, same channel. Um, and as always, as my invitation is to you to do this, is please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.